Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a crafty haul. Uh, this is a shipment first that I selected from a cherry on top. Half of it is for design teamwork and then the other half is simply because I added to cart and, you know, charge me the difference. <laughs> So I just want to do a shout out in case you've never really um, ordered from a cherry on top. I just want to tell you how great the shipping is um, because if you've ordered before or anywhere else, especially when you're ordering like mixed media inks, uh, ink pads, uh, sprays, um, if they are not, you know, carefully put into your packages, I have had had the dilemma where they spill or leak or bust um, in your packaging, you know, in your package. And so it ruins some other things as well. But with the cherry on top, so I just got all of these sprays. So they're all, I just had them on the side. So all of these sprays, they had them in its own Ziploc bag, sealed and then taped separately onto the rest of the products together, which I think is A, such a smart idea. Just, it is an extra step, but does wonders for not having these products get all over all the rest of the paper goods and then if you have ordered in the past you know that they stick it to the back they all tape this all filled to the a piece of um cardboard like for, you know shipping box um and so i had honestly three pieces of 12 by 12 paper and then the rest of everything was you know lightly uh, you know, Tetra style stacked on top and then it was sealed and wrapped as well. And look, my 12 by 12 papers are pristine, no bent corners and none of my mixed media leaked on it. So just a shout out because I do believe that this is important, um, especially when you, you know, get diverse uh, products from a store uh, to take the time to make sure that they don't cause problems for the rest of it. So just a nice shout out to cherry on top in case you've never ordered from them. You really will get your stuff to you safe and all in one piece. Um, so my haul from them is half mixed media, half scrapbooking. So uh, I think I had mentioned in my last video, but, and I have, to, I have so much videos to edit um, that I definitely have been binge watching a lot of Tim Holtz's demo videos that he does for his product line. And I guess I've never, honestly, to be honest, taken the time to watch his videos or, you know, obviously ever met him. I've never been to a trade show. Um, he does a fantastic job in his demo videos. Um, in case you need a reason to go, you know, waste two to three three hours at a time watching his things, but you really do learn a lot. And, um, I, I got bit by the idea because I do have a lot of oxide sprays where I don't have enough of the distress sprays and they do entirely different things. And so I just am adding more to my collection little by little. Um, I got the ones that were on sale. So they were all about $5 a piece and to, to play. Um, I really want to play with colors. Uh, the, remember, the, the ink sprays are more translucent, but a solid, you know, um, color where the oxides have that milky white um, drying effect. So these will give a different effect than these, but them together do complement each other and they all are reactive to water. So it makes it a very fun playing experience. Um, my only thing is that I'm learning is that, you know, Tim and Dina and the rest of them like to play with like, you know, little tags all the time to show you a quick demo. And then they have a bunch of these tags with all of their practices or, and or, you know, um, art making. And then they put their tags as cards or something else. And so I'm trying to find the happy medium where I can still play with them in a journal uh, because, <laughs> because having those a million tags, like where am I going to put them all? Like I want them in a, in a journal or, you know, do I, do I tape them in, staple them in? So I am trying to just make sure I find a way to keep the play time in some sort of bound journal because having a bajillion amount of tags is not ideal for me. And then I did pick up the fossilized amber in the spritz. Um, you saw me have already a play and I think I hauled them before the five other colors that I have, but this one, once I saw the demo, after I saw the demo, because I didn't see it before I pur purchased some, this one is like a true, like gold, y'all. Gold, and you always know I'm in search of a replacement for Heidi Swap Color Shine. I do also have like the Liquid Tex Gold um, ink uh, for splatters. I also have the Dina Wakely Gold Gilt one too. So I'm always looking for the gold. I have a Nuvo one too. I can't really see it real quick. Um, so yeah, it's a gold color. I am trying to see how that works as a topper. Those are definitely a topper to your project not your color coverage. I got collage paper. This one is the entomology one. It's the roll of it. I have the botanical one. This one more has the moths and beetles and some butterflies. 
and then just like the text and stuff. So I thought that was really fun to have in backgrounds. Embossing pens. I saw them do a bunch of cool things with those. So I wanted to give them a try. I haven't seen those in store. A few new stencils. And of course, my doofus head accidentally purchased two of one. So I, I have this one just, and again, because I saw him use it so many times and I was like, wow, the amount of detail on that stencil, I need that in my life. Uh, so this one is called Doodle Art. This one is called Bouquet Layering. This one is Stone. And this one is Ringer. So cute. So all different, like, a, you know, they're all a little different. I mean, these two are kind of similar, but you knew I was going to get a floral and that one was just so beautiful. And then I got a six by eight Stampers Anonymous with the butterflies and some text and stuff. So this almost definitely looks like the collage paper. Um, so go, good to have in both situations. And this one is Papillon. So that means butterfly. You know I love the A5. I'm almost done with a few more layouts in it. So I got a replacement because it is, and you know why I like it? It's bright white. Um, I know the Dilutions ones are that cream cardstock. I don't love the cream, so I'm always just sewing it, even though, let's be honest, most of the time I cover most of my paper up anyway. But if you want to work on bright white, it's a great gauge. It's like, a, what is it, 300 GSM, so it's thick paper. And look, they have a little mini A6 one, though, too. So for like a quick little project, if I do something, it's tiny. And it was like five dollars six dollars so i was like i'm gonna get both <laughs> i'm gonna get both <laughs> so that's how that happened then i got six by eight snap uh three by four refill page protectors uh, i go through the size the most and um and i know some of my albums are the three the six rings and this is only for two i have no problem hole punching them so i just picked up some and then this holds a four by six vertically into your album as well so i just thought it was a different orientation so why not a few pages from frills frills flags and frills um i am doing like a summer break album for my daughter it is coming to my channel soon because i am editing it i just wanted more um to go along with this collection the linen market because it's like the red the blue and the yellow um for i feel like for the fourth of july but you know summertime collection i just wanted a few more papers um that were americana and then i got the rest of the chipboard the brads the six by eight and then the bits and pieces you saw me haul the other half of the collection so i just wanted more to have and then i have not played with yet but i just got the rest of the collection it's crafty things chipboard stickers the frames and then the six by eight for it as well i hauled the rest of it on my last video too because it was a big pre-order i hope that's already posted and so that i haven't played with yet either on my channel but it's coming and then let me show you what I picked up from Amazon. I apologize. It's from Amazon. Yes, I only got one thing. And then the rest, I did a small order at scrapbook.com. So again, I've been bit by the mixed media bug. And this Flutter stamp, which is individual stamps, has been sold out everywhere. And I, I found it on Amazon. So I picked it up because I did not want to see this one go. I do love my butterflies and my flowers. And the fact that these are individual Amazon picked it up there. Not a big deal. And then I looked for this one and I had it at scrapbook.com. So these were the two that I picked up. An embossing folder. This one is called Mosaic. Yes, Mosaic. And then Slate and Stone. And now I do have this stone. You saw me haul it. No, was it Slate? I think it was Slate. Or no, maybe this is Slate and that's Stone because I've already used this. Yeah, I've already used them. This I have the stencil of now. So again, I have the stencil and the stamp making my life easy. So it was at scrapbook.com. So I picked it up there. And then these were really fun. I saw an artist um, and I just took her class. It's Tiffany Solorio. Sol Rio. So I'm saying her name wrong and I apologize. Anyways, she did a little video recently and she used these on a simple but very creative mixed media something something with tim holtz anyways i picked them up um they are like embossed from paper and they they're already cut out like laser die cuts like 49 and market does um granted there's still a white border on it but that's okay um it is more for the beauty of how rainbow and just lovely they are so there's like four sheets of them a little cut difference in colors but very similar, and I just was like, yes, I need those, and so the scrapbook.com had them. They're from Paper Rose Studios, and then I got this animal one. 
because think about any you know mixed media do and then have this as your focal image like stop it look how cute those are and now granted i get it they're usually for card makers i am not no card maker maybe i'll become one but i just really want to play in my art journal and learn how these supplies work and they're embossed slightly can you see where like where they shine there you go you see how they have like the details very pretty okay that's all i have <laughs> so that way i always like to show that way you'll see the products i'm working with i will try to link as much as i can down below for your shopping convenience this one was on amazon so if i find the link i will link it because like i said this one has been i don't think it's discontinued i just think they haven't like ordered a new batch and so they're out at scrapbook.com it's out at a cherry on top and i really really wanted this the the stamp and this one so you'll know it's on my in my cart also has a coordinating die but i want i always say this you know i love my die machine but i have no problem fussy cutting things out so i'm trying to see okay if i use this often is fussy cutting it all the time a pain or should i just have the die in order to roll it through my die machine and not be such a princess about it you know so i didn't it's sitting in amazon cart it's not purchased yet I am feeling myself out. Do I need it? Um, but in the meantime, I have, you know, plenty of stamp stencils, new notebooks, collage papers, and stamps, and a little embossing moment too, because I don't have, believe it or not, like I said, I'm not a card maker, so I don't have a lot of these. But once again, watching Tim's videos on how he puts his tag through the thing and then does his, you know, ink work on it and then does a little resist something on it and the the, the effects are beautiful and i am going to become a student <laughs> of tim holtz's line <laughs> and i will learn how to use this stuff now don't get me wrong i am t intimidated because they'll probably come out like crap until you you know practice enough so i'll have a lot of crappy projects first and then i'll be good <laughs> But you'll be along with the ride. So if you are new to mixed media, join me in doing some crappy work at first until we know how, to, how our products work and then we'll be more efficient. And in the meantime, I will be scrapping summer break for my daughter and continuing on with all my lovely memory keeping. So thank you so much for joining me. It was like a little chit chat moment, um, you know, but we're friends here. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel. Give this video always a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. And until next time, everyone, bye.